It's day 22. Dear Dyslexic Diary, I'm practically dizzy from all the excitement and I've barely had a moment to catch my breath. But you know me, always on the go, a veritable tornado of energy and enthusiasm. I started my day with the most divine breakfast, if I do say so myself. Forget the vegan protein and flax seeds and almond milk, I was feeling positively adventurous. Cucumber, tomato and flax seeds drizzled with the most heavenly balsamic vinegar. It's like a little taste of Italy in every bite. And of course, I had to wash it all down with my usual hazelnut coffee. Nectar of the gods, I tell you. Anyway, I was absolutely buzzing because I'd been selected to speak at a conference in London about the psychology of toxicity and its impact on children. Talk about a heavy hitting topic. But you know me, I'm passionate about this kind of thing. I got myself all dolled up, ordered an Uber, because who has time for the tube these days? And off I went to wow the crowds. Let me tell you, I was so passionate and the debates were downright captivating. I mean, I may be a little dyslexic, but that just adds to my charm. And the insights that we shared? Groundbreaking, I tell you. I'm talking about the way toxic environments can stunt a child's emotional development, the long-lasting effects of verbal abuse, the importance of fostering a nurturing, supportive atmosphere. I had them all nodding along, scribbling furiously in their notebooks. Anyway, after that a bit of networking, I rushed back home to my fur babies, my two adorable mini schnauzers. I tell you, those pups are the light of my life. I spent a bit of time researching the adolescent brain because you know I'm always trying to expand my knowledge. Did you know that the prefrontal cortex, the part of the brain responsible for decision-making and impulse control, is one of the last regions to fully develop? Fascinating stuff, I tell you. And of course, I had to take the puppies for their evening walk. Talk about a workout. Those little legs may be short, but they can really motor. I was practically jogging to keep up with them, but hey, at least I'm getting my steps in, right? And the fresh air, the sound of their little paws pitter-pattering along the pavement, it's enough to make even the most stressed out lady feel positively rejuvenated. After two short walks, I'm absolutely knackered just thinking about it all. But you know what they say, it's all in a day's work for a well over 40 dyslexic aspiring psychologist like me. Now, where's that hazelnut coffee? Until next time.